What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome to a new Let's Play! And you guys already saw it. It's a game from 2002, a SpongeBob game from 2002. I was only seven when this thing came out. Jeez! By THQ. Mm hmm. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's pretty delicious, in fact. Well, I don't know why it'd be delicious. Big Sky, and just active. I never noticed this logo before. Watch it. Everything just dies. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> I just tried to record this, actually. And I decided to restart because I did a few things wrong. But yeah, this is SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Let me just see here for a second. You hear that? It's a sweet, sweet sound of nothing. Um, I, I don't know. It's just it's Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. It's just quiet. And the first thing you're going to notice here, not very good graphics. It's very simplistic. You see Mr. Krabs and Squidward over there arguing. Mr. Krabs go blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, SpongeBob, look at SpongeBob's employee of the month. Oh my God! You have extra. Oh, there's extras. I don't think I've ever looked at the extras. What's this? Oh, there's a still gallery. What's that? No, I don't. You know what? Let's let's not. Let's not. It's not a bad idea. Okay. Loading screens, a bunch of bubbles. That's another thing that's a little bit weird. Um, new game. Look at the crab pad is all burning. SpongeBob, what the heck? You're doing a horrible job. Freaking lettuce, tomato, onions over there. Sitting over there. So yeah, our options are to load game. This is actually a really in interesting. Um, instead of having a menu to choose from to load your game or start a new game, it just, it just kind of throws you right in here, which is cool. I didn't when I first played this. I did not realize that these four pads. That's what those indicated. And yes, yeah, so that's the first thing I want to say before I get into this. This is not blind. The reason why for that is because I did not like how the creature from the Crusty Crab went at all. I went to a blind and I missed pretty much everything. And there's so many things you could accidentally skip, which I did, and I was not satisfied. So I decided to do this game. I, I just finished 100% of this game last night, actually. Well, kind of 100%ed, but I'll get more into that in a bit. He joined SpongeBob. Oh God, he's naked. What kind of. a silly dream! Mr. Krabs had to close the Krusty Crab. Like that it ever happened. I have the feeling today will be like no other day! <sighs> now I wonder where Gary is. I should probably walk him before I go to work. Gary, where is he? So yes, I'm naked, leave for work, you get tasks in this game. There's some floating pair of pants, I don't know, I'd be pretty scared if I saw that. Um, there's also invisible walls. So it's weird because this game is from the same console that Battle for Bikini Bottom and the movie video game are from. So you'd think it'd be very similar, but yeah, everything's really simplistic. It's strange. The controls are very similar. B to attack, although your attack is, it, it stops you from moving. Jump. You can ground pound if you press A and X. Uh, thing, you could hold L to walk slowly, which comes in handy for certain things later on. You also hold R to stop you from moving, which you think would be pointless for just ducking, but you, if you actually hold this and press A, you do a super jump, which is also very helpful. The thing you can do is press A again while you're flying to float, to hover, well not really hover, to glide I guess is a better word to say it. Can we jump on the bed? No. Go on the diving board though, and the biggest issue in this game, depth perception. I'm trying to get on the diving board. <laughs> but you guys know all about my issues with Dimebar. I had a clam, a pet clam. Um, yeah. Alright, let's go downstairs. Let's let's get ready for work. <gasps> Gary! Hello! As you creepily turn towards me no matter where in the room Good I'm at. Good morning, Gary! Wait till I tell you about my crazy dream where the Krusty Krab was closed and... <gasps> oh, you don't say. You had a dream too? Meow, 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 meow. That something really bad is gonna happen? Uh-huh. <gasps> Look at his shell. It's expanding and contracting. Whoa, it's weird. Look at that it. That really is bad. That's weird. Well, I know just the thing to cheer you up. I'll go fetch your favorite fetching stick. It's like pulsating. It's weird. Let's, let's watch some TV right up to the screen. Why not? Never fear, mermaid man, for you are not alone in your fight against injustice. Hashtag never alone! What am I alone? Okay, it's, is, is your fetching stick in here? So, that was either Spongebob having really violent diarrhea or brushing his teeth. I mean, it could really be either of those things. I'm not even just making a long stretch of a joke either. It seriously could have been either one of those things. <laughs> what is this picture? I think it's just a floating face. You guys, you guys are probably having a harder time seeing that than I am. 
This way is just back upstairs. Okay, uh, fetching stick Don't outside. Worry, Gary. That's... We can squeeze in a few rounds of fetch before work. If I can just find your favorite stick. I mean, sticks are typically outside, right? Uh, okay, apparently not. I know! His fetching stick must be in the kitchen! We're all fetching sticks, okay? Your little friend Gary would like to play some fetch? Uh, yeah, I guess. Very well. Then move next to his fetching stick and press the action button to pick it up. Then you can carry the stick to Gary and delight him. I find the narrator in this game very creepy. Yeah, it's bringing the stick to Gary to delight him. Looks like I don't know, it just sounds creepy. Is blocking the door. Indeed it is, Spongebob. Alright, so if I actually come up here, we could do something kind of a little bit of an order here, but I just found this out and I thought it was kind of interesting. If we break these, we get the balloons! The balloons! Which, this is what I'm going to need help with from you guys. The one area that I could not 100% complete was the hub world here, uh, Bikini Bottom. I could not find all the doubloons. I had like 97% or something like that. And I absolutely could not find the last few you didn't or whatever. You think I was gonna leave for work without a quick game of fetch, did you, Gary? Now come on, boy! Go long! Go, 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 go! So yeah, if anyone knows any like Longer! really secret spots for doubloons, let me know because I, I'm really- I have no idea where the last doubloons could be. What did you think what about the that, boy? <laughs> the way There's he drinks it. On it. I think it says, <laughs> damn jerk. Donut Alpine or Elsie? Mmm, donuts. I wonder what that means. Well, maybe we should see what's inside. <coughs> oh, don't be such a soggy sport, Gary. What harm can there be in just a little I just dropped my drink. <laughs> just like in every game, we open box by hitting it! Just what I always wanted. A muddy little bottle. Just think of all the fun we can have cleaning it. Here we go. <gasps> Look at those doubloons! Who summons me from my endless slumber? I'll have your eyes for appetizers and your insides for dessert, for I am the Flying Dutchman. I'm sorry about that. Just hop right back into your bottle and we'll bury you back out in the yard so you can... Silence! I'll not be oh, to Gary. never again. So sad. What's this? You've gotten into my treasure, have you? Ooh, I hate it when someone messes with my doubloons. Now, what shall I do with ye lowly knaves who dared stir me up? Let me consult my rule book on ghostly doings. Hmm. In the case of accidental discovery and wanton disruption of my booty, the perpetrators must serve for an eternity on my bloody crew. Well, I ain't never been out to sea with a talking cheese block before, but rules is rules, so I gotta take you with me. Are you ready? Hold Are you ready, there, kids? Mr. Dutchman, sir. Uh, technically speaking, it was not me who found you. Uh, Gary's the one who dug <gasps> you up. What a sellout! Oh, that's a relief. This little varmint looks like he can do ten times the work, if he can survive my hypnotic spell. <laughs> oh no, not Gary! That's not what I meant. Take me, 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 not him, him, him. Too late. My decision is made. Now I've got to check on the treasure stashed back on my ship. To make sure no one's been spreading that around. But I'll return shortly to pick up my new crewmate. Say your farewells before I return. Oh, poor Gary. Don't worry, Gary. I'll think of something, and it'll be the type of something <clears throat> that will save you. You can bet on it. Oh. <laughs> I like how this game. This is like back in the times where they didn't simplify language in games. Like the Flying Dutchman using wonton and knaves. Like who uses those words? No one. And then the narrator describing us throwing the stick to Gary is delighting him. It's like who- no one says that in games anymore. It's, everything's like really simplified in my opinion. But um, yeah, so now we have access to the doubloons. This is actually the point where we're supposed to be able to start collecting them, but as you see I kind of cheated a little bit and got too early. Um... So if we go, I wonder if... Okay, those barrels did not respond, so those were not the ones I was missing. So there actually are, like, sections in this game where if you miss the doubloons the first time, that's it, you don't get a second chance. There's like, there's like points of no return kind of thing. Well, kind of, you can return, but sometimes you'll be unable to access certain areas. So, uh... Looks like something in my... Yeah, something's blo blo blocking the back door in the yard. Okay, well, it's... Gary, are you, are you okay, buddy? What is your opinion on all that has happened? Uh, who's 
afraid of a big bad Dutchman. Not us. I heard <gasps> that. Dun dun dun. <laughs> he doesn't reply. So, in trying to find these missing doubloons that I never was able to find, I thought maybe. Like, I thought maybe it would be in this room somewhere. So, you collect these here. So, I was like. Like, oh, I don't think I've ever been able to hit that. Hey, yeah, look at that. Huh. How did I hit that? Hmm, interesting. I've never been able to do that before. So, like, I thought maybe this treasure chest. Can I hit that? Like, whatever this is. Seriously, does anyone know what this is? It looks like a trap door or something, but you can't go in it, as far as I'm aware. I don't know, man. Maybe if we, like. Go from high up? No, I have no idea. Alright, Gary, you're very creepy and watching me move around the room like that, but let's let's uh, let's head outside to Bikini Bottom and see what's going on. To a Bikini Bottom! Oh god, this is like all glitchy. Yeah, it's really weird how all the loading screens are just bubbles for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> well, there's, there's, yeah, I don't know. You'd think they'd use like pictures or something instead of just bubbles. Whatever floats, wow, that's a lot of bubbles, man. Yeah, now we're outside. So this door feels, or this, this door. This game feels very empty. Home sweet home. Oh, cool. Wow, there's a door. There's another door right there. So like I was like halfway into the house. <laughs> um, ooh, what's this? Tree dome this way. <gasps> Sandy lives super close to us. Oh, but her house is blocked by rocks. I don't even remember how to open that. Oh well, I'm sure it'll make sense eventually. And then, yeah, I'll see there's a jellyfish right there as well. Those are actually very important in this game as well. We'll see why eventually. Eventually! So, in my attempts to beat this game, I was looking up, like, um, walkthroughs and all that, and someone actually informed me that there is no actual Let's Play of this on YouTube. Like, an actual Let's Play, one that isn't horribly produced. I saw a few of, like, um, little baby children's pointing their recorder at the TV and talking, but I, I don't really count those. Gee, Patrick, is everything okay? Not okay, not okay. Something fell on my roof and now my TV doesn't work. I can't get up there to fix the thing, and I'm missing all my favorite shows. No! <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I wish there was something I could do to help. Ah, uh, but there is. You can get up there if you try. Hold the duck button, then press the jump button to reach high places. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? I'm missing my shows! A real buddy would get up there and make my life complete again. Ah, uh, oh, barnacles. That's actually the very first time I've ever... To power jump, that's what it's called. It's actually the very first time I've seen that cutscene. Um, I always just exploring in my eager self to control... Uh, to explore. Alrighty, looks like I found your problem. There's a big thingy on your thingy and it's all bent out of shape. But it looks too big for me to move. You don't need to move it when you can simply break it apart. Face the container and press the action button to carrot it. Jump the it. container. It's weird that I don't just call it a barrel. But yeah, I always like come up here just out of interest before talking to Patrick and just hit it. Okay, we're from Patrick. Well, this antenna's pointing this way, so let's let's go this way first, shall we? We also this jump was impossible for me to make when I first started playing this game too. I could not see if you hold A, you'll see I won't jump as high. Well, I guess if, depending on where you start gliding, it really changes how far you could go. On top of the pineapple under the sea over here. Uh, also, these they're really hard to get on top of the lights. Okay, I'm surprised I got that on my first try. Okay, let's go see. You. You're welcome, Patrick. You're welcome. Give me your thing. My TV is fixed! You saved me from thinking, Spongebob! <gasps> Save your gratitude, my jolly pink friend. It's all in a day's work for a sponge such as I. But, uh, maybe you can help me with a problem that I'm having. You see, it all started this morning, when Gary and I were playing fetch. Oh, on second thought, who wants to stay at home and watch TV on a day like this? I'm going downtown to see the new construction <laughs> site. Maybe you could meet me there, and we'll play Mermaid Man and Vertical Boy! Last one, there's a nematode! Yay, find Patrick in downtown. Oh, let him run away. Sitting around like that. It's as if someone wanted me to find it. That is no ordinary letter tile. It is a clue. Gather all the letters that spell your name, and you will have enough clues to find a hidden treasure. Find all the letters that spell SpongeBob's name. What is SpongeBob's name? No, what is SpongeBob's name? Uh, I've got a start menu. 
You'll see, it tells us our game totals there. 29 doubloons, zero. What is that? <gasps> Jellyfish? What? And zero money. <laughs> so yeah, if you go to our um, to-do list, it tells us pretty much everything we need to know. We have 21% of the doubloons collected, 0% of the jellyfish, 100% of the money. So in other words, there's no money in this area. But here's our, all our objectives in the area. Oops. And all we need to do is... What is going on? All we need to do is collect, complete all the objectives. And that's how we complete an area in this game, essentially. And you'll see there's a checklist at the bottom as well for like um, things that don't give us letters but are still important. Find the Dutchman's treasure. Find Patrick in downtown. So we're not going to find Patrick in downtown for a little while yet, because I believe that's the... Oh, no, it is, is it the first level? It is the first level. So, yeah, if we take a look at our levels here, because we actually have access to check them all out right away. So there's downtown, the Tree Dome, Jellyfish Fields, Chum World, Goo Lagoon, and then the Dutchman's Graveyard. And that's it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven levels in this entire game, if you count this one, the Hub World. And also, the Dutchman's Graveyard is kind of like a... It's kind of like a bonus level, or not a bonus level, sorry, like a little, it's it's really short. So is Sandy's Tree Dome as well. So, uh, yeah! Look at this! A bus stop! <sighs> I wish I could take a long ride on the bus. Just think of all the amazing places outside Bikini Bottom, and all the fun things I could do. Your wish can easily come true. All you need is the right ticket for this bus stop. When you have the correct mm -hmm. ticket, Mm -hmm. Jump onto the bench and the bus will stop for you. Yay, the buzz. I like how they call it a buzz. Wasn't that just a rock bottom thing? But uh, I, I suppose I'm going to call it an episode here. Squidward just nowhere to be found. Um, hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play. Like I was saying, there's no one on YouTube has Let's Played this game yet, as far as I can see. There's a bunch of like really poopy, like someone pointing their recorder at um, their screen and talking. There's also some uh, videos on this game, but none of them have commentary. As far as I could find, there might be some out there, but as far as I could see, there are no like you know ones that came up when I searched for it. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you do enjoy this, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. Um, this is a pretty short game, so this probably won't be too many parts long. It'll probably be like around 20. It'll probably be about as long as Creature from the Krusty Krab was. Um, yeah, in the next one, we'll explore Bikini Bottom and see what wonders await us in this very kind of empty-ish world. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Oh, look, he's even doing a goodbye! Oh, so cute. Uh, I don't know why he's cute. Alright, talk to you guys in two days. See you later!